In my last couple of videos, you may have noticed these seemingly innocuous looking chairs behind me. Don't worry though, you need not be afraid. Somewhat recently, I started a podcast with my father called Feeding the Ducks. We were originally going to go outside by our local pond and record it, but audio has been a pain to work with, so we're actually just in the same studio I used for Kingpin Creations. But I wound up making a really cool intro for the show that really tested my skills as a 3D artist, and I wanted to share it with all of you today. But before we get into that one, check out this other cool intro I made for Kingpin Creations. Hit it! How was that for a transition? In order to begin, we're gonna need a duck. So I popped into Blender to start modeling a duck and I was originally gonna use a realistic duck as a reference, but I quickly went off model to make it more stylized. I added spheres where the head and body should be and added a cylinder for the neck. By adding several edge loops to the cylinder, I was able to warp the neck where it connected the head and the body. Now, before we move forward, I will preface the rest of this video by warning you, you will hear some variation of the phrase, I used a tutorial quite a lot. As I mentioned, this intro tested my skills as a 3D artist and I got very ambitious with this project, but I took it as an opportunity to learn and improve on the skills that I've been meaning to for quite some time. In fact, I'm gonna give you just a little taste behind the scenes. Here is the entire recording process from start to finish of the whole intro. And here is what it looks like with the tutorials cut out. Learning. I used a tutorial to learn how to merge objects smoothly together and just so happened to break the world record for most amount of squares contained within a single duck. Then after dusting away some of the cobwebs around it, I opened up the sculpting mode in my blender to just refine the shape of the duck just a teeny bit more. Now that the basic shape of the duck was complete, I started to add the features. I sculpted the cube to have the bumps and ridges that a duck bill has and even used cones and a boolean modifier to create the nostrils because, well, our duck needs to breathe, obviously. As for the eyes, once I added the aforementioned spheres, I, well, no, that was actually it. That, that was the entire process for the eyes. So now the face is done, which is really cool. To finish off sculpting the duck, I used a reference image to model the wings, extruding and rotating a cylinder for the bone, I guess you would call it, and then making a single feather and copying and stretching the hell out of it to fill up the rest of the wing. I was going to use a tutorial to see how to make a detailed feather, but I realized they weren't really going to be seen too much and it would have looked weird with how cartoony the rest of the duck wound up looking, so instead I opted to go for a low poly feather. And then I went through and did the entire thing from scratch for the other wing. Nah, I'm kidding. I used the mirror modifier to flip it across. With the duck finished, it was time to rig it for animation. The idea I had for this intro didn't require too extensive of a rig, but I figured if I wanted to do something with this duck in the future, then it would all be set and ready for me. Upon moving forward, though, I don't know if I ever want to look at this particular duck again, and you'll, you'll, you'll find out why in just a few minutes. I went through following a tutorial to learn how to rig in Blender, as I've only previously rigged in Maya, and even that was a couple of years ago. And honestly, as cool as it is to work with your own creations and animate them and model them and whatever, I, I think I would much rather stick to just the animation phase and maybe even a little bit of the modeling phase, but not like modeling people with intricate moving parts. It, it, it's, it's hard to explain, but I like animating and I like 3D modeling to an extent. The rigging process drives me up a wall. Unfortunately, the way I rigged and even modeled the duck meant I had to do a little bit of weight painting to make sure the rig worked correctly. In less bad news, I actually remembered how to do weight painting from learning about it in Maya when I was back in college. Now, I know I skipped a step here to break down the duck into smaller geometry, which would have made all the steps going forward easier on myself, but I have a really good reason for not doing that. I hate retopologizing. Can't do it. I went through with the same process, rigging and weight painting the wings, and let me tell you, that was a hell of a lot smoother than it was for the body. 
I don't know why I got bleeped there. I said ducking, as in the duck body. Anyway, Blender has this parent option called automatic weight paint or something like that. And when I parented the wings to the armature, it actually perfectly weight painted the wings to each of the different joints, which meant I was done sooner than I hoped for, and I could move on to my favorite part now. As I said before, the idea I had in mind was not too extensive. It was moving the duck as a whole and a couple of wing flaps. So I only really needed the wings to move. And so I went through and animated the duck all by myself this time. It was at this point I decided to add a small head movement and animate some eyelids on the duck while he's tucking in his wings in his final moments just to add a little spice. And to make it look like the duck was speeding up, I modeled some anime speed lines. Using a tutorial, of course. Finally, I set up the lighting and tried my best to emulate a natural light, but I also wound up finding a tutorial to make an artificial sun that created some really cool shadow effects in the first shot of the animation that I really love. And that was pretty much it. Just a couple minor tweaks, some sound effects, and of course, an amazing musical number done by my friend Tara. And we have this. And there we have it, my journey down the YouTube tutorial rabbit hole while also making a cool intro for my podcast. I like how it turned out. It was admittedly frustrating trying to reteach myself all the skills I got rusty at, the rigging and the weight painting especially, just because I couldn't grasp it. I love modeling and I love animation. The in-betweens of that, not so much. I also want to give a awesome shout out to Tara, for making the music, it works and blends so well with the video aspect, so huge thank you to that. Her links will be down in the description, but if you would like to kill two birds with one stone. Poor choice of words. If you would like to tackle two things at once, we actually just put out an episode of Feeding the Ducks where we interviewed Tara for her debut album for the band Freaks Over There. Awesome job it's great great interview great album i highly recommend it it's going to be right up here as well as the channel for feeding the ducks right here i know youtube's going to blow a fuse that i'm not recommending stuff on my own channel but forgive me sorry but if you do want to help out this channel specifically there's a like button down there it would mean a lot to me if you hit it if you like the video and that's all i got for you i'm king print creations and i'll see you in the next video take care everyone